क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फ्रॉम सेट ए दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर एंड वॉज मोर ऑफ फैक्ट बेस्ड द रेफरेंस टू दिस कैन बी फाउंड इन एन आर्टिकल दैट केम इन फाइनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस दैट इज इंडिया कैन लर्न एग्री पॉलिसी लेसन फ्रॉम चाइना सो इफ यू लुक एट दीज स्टेटमेंट इंडिया हैज मोर एरेबल लैंड देन चाइना नाउ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस द डेटा इफ वी सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंडिया हैज एरेबल लैंड ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड fifty six million hectares whereas with respect to china this number is 119 million hectares so which means this particular statement india has more arable land than china this is a correct statement the second statement the proportion of irrigated area is more in india as compared to china this has been recently in news also and if we go by the numbers again with respect to india the proportion of irrigated land is almost 48% whereas with respect to china this is 41% which means now the second statement that is the proportion of irrigated area is more in india as compared to china this also is correct now with respect to third statement the average productivity per hectare in indian agriculture is higher than that in china if we see in general agricultural productivity in china for different crops uh exceed by almost 50 to 100% with respect to what is there in india but nevertheless even if we go by the numbers uh, with respect to few important crops let's say for example when we talk about rice and if i compare india and china for rice in india the yield is almost 2800 kg per hectare whereas with respect to china this number almost reaches 6800 kg per hectare so you can see with respect to rice cultivation the yields in china definitely are more similarly when you compare wheat again so with respect to wheat now what we see again in india the productivity is almost 3500 kg per hectare whereas with respect to china this number reaches 5800 kg per hectares rounded off so in these cases you can see yes very obviously with respect to rice or wheat the yield in china is way much higher and pretty much what we can uh, figure out or infer from the above statements india has more arable land or arable area than china but yet we know that china uh, has very high levels of total production of food grain so total production of food grain with respect to or from lesser arable area it increases the overall yield of the food grains and in this case primarily the reason for this we can see is more because of the use of fertilizers where the fertilizer usage per hectares in china again is almost five times that of india so due to the higher fertilizer usage the yield is a very high in china and therefore the average productivity per hectare in indian agriculture is higher this statement becomes wrong and so what we get the correct answer to be first and second that is b only 